In this lesson, I'll show you the fast and easiest way to solve any percent change problem. You will need to know the following two formulas. When there's a percent increase, then use the first of two formulas, and when there's a percent decrease, use the second. So in question number one, we're being asked, the price of a chocolate bar rose from $1.55 to $1.75. Find the percent change in price. So as you can tell, there is an increase from 155 to 175. And there's a key word here, rose, that indicates that. Since there's a percent increase, you want to use the first of two formulas. So the initial price was 155, and we'll replace initial with 155, plus again, initial being 155. The rate is what we're looking for, which is the percent. So I'll replace this part of the formula with x. And that's equal to 175. Let's make some more space. All right, now we have to solve for x. So you do need to know a little bit of algebra here. We'll rearrange so that this term is isolated on the left side. I'll bring 1 decimal 55 over to the right side, or in other words, subtract 155 from both sides. And this leaves us with 155x on the left side. Subtracting the right side, gives us 0 0.2, and the left side remains the way it is. And to isolate for x, we will divide both sides by 155. And the reason why we divide both sides by 155 is because it then eliminates these two numbers, leaving us with simply x on the left side. Now using your calculator, you'll take 0 0.2 and divide it by 1.55, that right there represents the value of x, but since we want it as a percentage, we then multiply this amount by 100. And you end up getting 12.9%. So, 12.9% increase is what occurred when it went from $1.55 to $1.75. Question number two asks, a motor was engineered to produce 3.5 horsepower. This is a 2.5% improvement from last year's model. How many watts did last year's model produce? So this question involves two things. The first one being finding out what last year's model was in horsepower and then converting that over to watts. We'll begin by finding last year's amount in horsepower. So since there was an improvement, we can assume that there is a percentage increase. So if you're producing more power, then that is an increase from last time. That being said, we don't know the initial. We don't know that part of the formula, so we'll write down x. And again, initial appears a second time, so we'll replace that with x. We do know the rate, and it is 2.5. Two and a half is the same thing as saying 2.5%. And you need to make your percentages into decimals. So we divide this by 100%. When you divide this by 100%, you end up with 0 0.025. So that number will go in place of what we see in blue. The final is 3.5. Our equation will look like this, x plus x times 0 0.025 is equal to 3.5. We need to solve for x, and it's a little bit different than how we solved for x in question number one. Because on the left side of this equation, we have two terms that are alike. Both of these terms have an x, so they can be combined. You combine these terms by simply adding the coefficient of this term, which is 1, with the coefficient of this term, which is that value right there. 1 plus 0 0.025 is 1.025x, and on the right side we have 3.5. By solving for x here, we have found what it was initially, the amount of power last year. So again, using the same technique as before, I will divide both sides by this, the number right here, they cancel out, and this time we have 3.5 divided by 1 decimal 0 0.025 makes 3.41463. That's last year's model. 
and the units are horsepower. Now we have to convert this into watts, and you do need a conversion factor. Normally a conversion factor will be provided to you by your teacher, but in case it's not, the conversion factor is one horsepower, is roughly 746 watts. So we'll take this amount of 3.4146 horsepower and multiply it to this conversion factor where I put 746 watts at the top and one horsepower at the bottom. That will cancel out these units and we end up getting our answer in watts when multiplying those two numbers. Now you're probably wondering why I kept four digits after the decimal place. Well normally I keep more than one digit after the decimal place if it's a multi-step question so that I don't run into rounding errors. Anyway, after multiplying these two numbers, we end up with 2,547. 2,547 watts. So try to keep as many decimal places as possible and round at the very end. In the last question, a pair of jeans is discounted from $99 to $39. By how much have these jeans been discounted? The fact that something has been discounted means that a percentage decrease has occurred. So we'll use the second of the two formulas on our screen. It's basically the same thing, except this one is plus and that one's minus. So the initial amount is 99. That's the initial amount. And the final amount is 39. And we're looking for the percentage. So using the formula, initial minus initial rate is equal to final. I'll write down 99.00 minus 99.00. The rate's what we're looking for, so I'll put an X there. And the final is $39. We'll solve for X the same way we did in question number one. We'll bring that 99 over. We get 39 minus 99. That should give you a negative number. and negative 99.00x on the left side. So 39 minus 99 makes negative 60. And the last step is to divide both sides by negative 99. They cancel out on that side. And on the right side, we have two negative numbers that are being divided. If you have two negative numbers that are being divided, you end up with a positive output. So dividing negative 60 by negative 99 gives you 0 0.60 repeating like this. We'll multiply that by 100% to get the percentage. And that's roughly equal to 60.6% .6 decrease. So the genes went on sale for 60.6% of their original value which ended up being $39 and zero cents. And there you have it. That is how to solve any percent change problem. Remember to use these two formulas and you should be able to tackle any of them. If you have a question of your own, you can use the comment section below or our website at biology-forms.com and we'll look forward to your questions. Talk to you all later.